Hi, welcome back. Jack Heath for HRCU Today and our Christmas Caring Campaign. Brian, of course, head of HRCU, delighted to be in the headquarters as always and continue the community stories. And Rich Hillow is the chair of the board of directors for the Share Fund. Been talking to him a little bit about one of the mutual friend of ours over this way. Just a very fun part of the community this time of year, Brian. And what he does with the Share Fund is uh, pretty outstanding. Share Fund's a great organization. Uh, it's been around for, for quite a while here in Rochester. And uh, um, the Share Fund's part of our Christmas Caring campaign. It'll be one of the organizations that, that benefit from it. $30,000 uh, in total raised this year. This year You're going to be presenting. Yep. This year it'll be uh, 20 organizations in the uh, in the area of the mm. Rochester, Dover, Farmington area who will benefit from that. And you go right out to the organizations. And just we tell do. us a little bit, uh, Rich, about the Share Fund. What is it? Who does it help? The Share Fund, most people know the Share Fund by Jerry's Food Pantry. Jerry's Food Pantry is the food part of our emergency assistance. We also have a community clothing shop that we've turned into kind of a, a thrift shop for anything from winter, summer clothes for kids and families to dining room tables. Any donations we take, we've actually outfitted an apartment with tables, chairs, and a, a living room. Um, and then we also have the financial part, which is the emergency assistance for heat, lights, that kind of thing. So we kind of, our mission is to serve the, the totally need, needful, real needy people that just need a hand up. We don't give it to them. Not only do we, we will give them the assistance, but we also give them action plans as to how to help them get out of that and move up out of that so they can be more self-sufficient. And, and, and Brian, as you know, and Rich, so many people uh, sometimes find themselves in those situations where just that help, that one quarter, that one month, that one help with something kind of gets them, as you said, not a hand out, a hand up. Uh, how long has the Share Fund, how long has this been around? Um, we've been around probably like 30 years. Jerry's been around, Jerry's Food Pantry has been around, and that's kind of where it started from. We've been a uh, 501c3 for about 10. It's a big operation. We were, we were there last year. We, we, uh, we, had, we brought over a lot of food over there last year. It, mm. was, it was impressive, the people you have over there. Um, but I wanted to ask you, um, and maybe you could, you could talk about what happened over at the, at the Rotary the last, um, last couple of weeks when you uh, put the call out that you were short on turkeys this year. It, I, I was floored. So I talked with Tori Courts, the executive director, weekly, monthly, and around the holidays, which is really busy, we talk a little more often. So a couple of weeks ago, she called me, and she wanted to talk about two things. One was that we only had 100 turkeys, where we usually have between six and 800, so we were probably gonna spend some money. Also, our shelves were basically bare. So in order to provide the 600 turkey dinners we usually do, we were gonna to have to spend some extra money, which is fine, it's, it's part of our mission, and we have it, thank God. The second one was we usually hand out turkeys to other food pantries and soup kitchens so they could provide the meals as well because we have so much extra share fund, we share. Um, Monday I went to Rotary and John Marzinzik from Frisbee Hospital stood up during the happy dollar portion where we just give money to just say what we're happy about and said, hey, we're going to donate 100 turkeys to the share fund. We're like, that's fantastic. So, of course, I put my money down and stood up and said, well, you know, thank you so much and thank you to the community for all your donations. We'll accept your donations, but did you know that a monetary donation can sometimes get us 20, 30, even 50% more, almost double, because we can go to the store, buy in volume, and they give us amazing discounts because that's what they think of the share fund. One of the people at my table just threw a $20 bill across the table. The person next to me gave me another 20 As I was doing the fines, which is just collecting money for fun, mm -hmm. for Rotary, people are handing me a dollar and then just handing me money. Over four, almost $400, just out of the, the, the yeah, kindness of their heart, just throwing me money. And it helps so many. As you say, there's a multiplier effect mm -hmm. for every dollar. And now I went over there last Friday to help because they, the donations were coming in. Um, a hundred turkeys came in from Frisbee Hospital. At least 50 more came in from just people in the community donating. When I say carloads, a dozen carloads, trunk, back seat, floors, passenger seat and floor, full of food. We went from having a hundred turkeys to having enough to hand out the 600 and share with these other kitchens and, and pantries. Uh, just, wow. 
Well, I think that speaks to the whole Christmas caring campaign, yeah. the share, the share fund, and what what Rich does, but what you do, and it, it all comes together, right, Brian? It well, all comes together. It sure does, Jack. It, you know, not just what we do, but really the whole community. Exactly. And that's us, the whole community stepping up. Makes a huge difference. It does. And, it, and it, I tell you, it's a great way to fulfill yourself in terms of helping. Brian, great stuff. The Christmas caring campaign, Rich. Thank you very much, Rich Hillo, hey, for thank the you share fund for what you do. We'll be Brian. back. Thank you very much for your help. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned to HRCU Today for a community work just like this. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.